Well, you played 120 minutes in the FA Youth Cup on Wednesday night, and you hanged on the bench today, and then you get on. It must be a surreal week, really. Yeah, it's a good week. Um, we struggled uh, Wednesday, um, but we had good character to obviously pull it back, and um, I think the boys done well in the end. Mm. We dug deep and we done well, and obviously being asked to be on the bench tonight was obviously a proud moment for me and my family, but um, so glad to get on as well. Yeah, when Nathan Thompson's gone down, I'd imagine as a substitute, being the only defensive substitute as well, you're probably thinking, I've got a right chance here. And, and the gaffer said in his post match that he's put you on the bench for a reason and has given you the opportunity, I, I guess, through nerves? Or be not, don't strike me as someone who's a nerves guy. I mean, at the start, he told um, okay. two others to get warm, and it was a bit like, oh, okay, then I'll stay here, but I'll be ready. And then 10 seconds off, it was Ronnie, you're coming on. So it was a bit of a shock, but obviously. I had to seal out obviously the first half and then second half got comfortable and got into the game. Yeah, did, did it come at the right time for your half time actually? Because as you say, Oxford sort of had a lot of pressure towards the end of that mm. first half and as you say, we're seeing that out and then going again from, from the start from the second half. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think I kind of needed that to wake me up for the second half and obviously the boys yet yeah, again had get great character to um, come back and win the game. Your positioning was excellent throughout that second half. You really got into some great areas. I know that's part of your game as well, but reading the game. You must have been pleased by, by yourself in terms of uh, what you achieved in that second half. It's one half. of the most times I've ever headed a ball, to be fair, and obviously that's what the gaffer wanted me to do. So obviously I was pleased with that. And um, yeah, I was just making sure that I was alert and always concentrating. And actually, your game management was really good as well in terms of the keeping possession of the ball. I know you love having touches of the ball, but yeah, yeah. in that second half, there was long spells where we kept the ball and you were with that, both in your positioning, but also in, in, in wrapping the ball into people's feet. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, that's my biggest strength, just keeping it nice and calm, um, getting on the ball, little touches. Um, but yeah, I thought we kept the ball and managed the game very well. And when we got 2-1, obviously, ahead, Jack Taylor with the, with the goal, I, I guess, again, they didn't really cause us too many problems in terms of shots on goal, but they had a lot of possession, so you had to sit in at times and make sure you were you were disciplined in that respect. Was that something that's mentally what you have to really in tune with? I think it's more just concentration, obviously always checking your shoulders, speaking to um, the boys, check right, check left. It's more just concentration, yeah. Mm, and how important were people like Frankie and, and, and Pimmy behind you in that communication? Yeah, yeah, they helped me out a lot tonight. Obviously they knew it was going to be hard when I come on. Um, you could say I kind of struggled when I come on at the start, but obviously second half proper eased into it and helped me out a lot. And when you signed and obviously played so well in pre-season, you always raise the expectations of mm. fans because they're obviously watching you play. You obviously have to be patient for your opportunity in, in, in regular you know, first team football. I mean, you've done yourself no harm there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously they haven't probably seen the most of me on the ball today, but obviously off the ball I can show them what I can do and um, give to the team. And I guess as well, given the fact you played for the youth team on, on Wednesday, and obviously they're probably watching at home and, and, and hearing the fact you've come on, you must be buzzing to tell them all about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am, but obviously I've got a big, hopefully a big future ahead of me, so many more to come, hopefully. And the possibility, of course, playing on Tuesday at Cambridge as well, and, and, and to follow this performance up with one on Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, it's good to just obviously keep playing and getting in competitive, uh, competitive games that I need. And Jack Taylor just said he'd love Barnet away in the next round of the competition. And obviously oh. they've got to play Burton um, tomorrow. But for, for you, as it, it, playing in the FA Cup must have been something that's a, a dream come true for you. Yeah, yeah, definitely it is. It is definitely.